Hey guys, it's Jay here. I just wanted to show this piece uh, that I found a couple of, uh, well, years ago when, it, uh, when I dug out my pool. It was a big pile of rocks that I went through. And this was uh, one that I just thought was a chunk of metal gone wrong, like a piece of slag or something, but I thought it just looked really cool. So I, I kept it in the box. I, I pulled it out today and looked at it. <clears throat> And uh, it's not magnetic, it's not metal, it looks to be more of like um, like a pine pitch um, or like something like a tar, um, you know, some sort of cement they made back then, possibly whether this was mined out of the ground and then carved on and painted on. There's paintings on this we're gonna get into. This is a very lovely painting um, of a feminine, some feminine beauty on the back. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, this, this was another thing that came up when they were dug in the pool. I just wanted to show this real quick. It's like an early colonists like garden gnome or something you can see how detailed it is he's even got little bows on his his little pants and boots and belt buckles and his his little uh whatever that is handkerchief so he's holding a basket of flowers very detailed Looks like almost like Greek or Roman, but with like more like early colonial clothes or um, what was that? I think like almost like the Venetian era. <clears throat> but this guy here, he's got so many, many images. I'm just gonna start going over them. Um, this is a head from this direction here. You can see the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the teeth, possibly even a lip coming up or a tooth, the jawline. As I turn this, it will change and it will look more human and less human. Um, and then there's another feature over here, the head, the nose, the open mouth, the eye. And um, this is up top. And this is down in the recess, if you can see the 3D plane of this piece. So, you can see this figure here changes a little bit as I turn it. And then this one here. You can see there's a hole up top right there that goes all the way through. And I could almost hang that in that position from there. But that will make another eye later. I'm kind of seeing some birds up top there right now. Eye in the beaks. Eye in the beaks. <clears throat> There's another figure here. Eye in the beak, or it's a nose, an eye, and a mouth, a chin, and a head with a headdress. There's an eye. 
You know, open mouth, the chin, nose, the head comes out. Again, with a very pronounced cheek area. Almost like the headdress had something that came down over the ear a lot of the times. <clears throat> this would almost be the bottom of the neck for this piece. So this would be the back of the head. You can see that. That hole becomes the eye and the mouth. This is the original position. Maybe you can see it a little better now. You can see this figure here and that figure there. There's an open mouth figure here. Open mouth, chin, eyes, nose, headdress. This almost looks like a big nose here. Maybe a bird with the eye up there and the beak coming down. I also see an eye in here. And this just may be the mask or the beak or the nose of the animal. The long nose. Looks like a bird head up here, the eyes, the nose, you know, tucked. <laughs> and this is where we started off. Maybe you can see the image a little better now. When I go like this, it changes almost into like a wolf. And then back into human. And back into wolf. I found that interesting. The type of zoom more. In this middle position seems to be like that mythical midway character, those features. And then, of course, we have an eye looking at us right here with the nose and the mouth. This is the second video on this coming up next. I don't have time in this video, but there's a beautiful portrait on the back I'm about to share. Thank you guys.